Hey, welcome back to Science with your favorite side characters in Disney movies. Today, Mushu, Olaf, and Stitch will be teaching you about the study of all things life, biology. In particular, we're going to be focusing on mitosis today. Wait, slow down there, Stitch. What even is mitosis? Well, Mushu, to be quite bland, mitosis is a type of cell division that gives you two of the same daughter cells, and they have the exact same number and kind of chromosomes. Oh, my baby, off to destroy people. Uh, Mushu, they're not destroying, they're splitting. Anyway, it's not as simple as that might sound. There are six main steps to mitosis. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. So let's jump right into interphase. Interphase is the place a cell spends most of its life. It goes from resting to preparing to start the process of mitosis. Interphase is not considered to be part of mitosis and is not involved in the division of a cell, however. But interphase is divided into three stages, gap 1, synthesis, and gap 2. During gap 1, or G1, the cell grows and carries out its normal functions. So, for example, a white blood cell will continue to protect the body against infectious diseases and grow during this stage? Yeah, that's absolutely correct, Olaf. During the next stage, synthesis, all the chromosomes within the cell are replicated. This is in preparation for mitosis. Two sets of DNA are needed to carry out this process. The chromosomes consist of chromatin, which are made up of DNA and proteins. Two sister chromatids are formed as a result of the chromosomes replicating and are linked together by a centromere. DNA is replicated when it unwinds and separates, allowing for floating nucleotides to pair with exposed bases to form complementary base pairs. The next and last stage of interphase is GAP2, or G2. During this stage, the cell prepares itself for mitosis and by growing rapidly and producing po proteins. Cellular organelles such as the cell membrane within the cell also grow. The next step in mitosis is prophase, but sometimes this is considered the first stage. In early prophase, the cell starts to break down some structures and build others up, setting the stage for division in the chromosomes. In the first stage in prophase, chromosomes condense into X shapes and become visible. The centrioles will move to the opposite ends of the cell. Next, the spindle fibers emerge from the centrosomes and are attached to them. The nuclear envelope breaks down following this and the nucleolus disappears. In late prophase, sometimes called prometaphase, the mitotic spindles begin to capture and organize the chromosomes. The chromosomes finish condensing, so they are very compact. So the mitotic spindle grows more, and some of the microtubules start to capture chromosomes. The next phase following prophase is metaphase. In metaphase, the nuclear envelope has disappeared and the spindle fibers have captured all the chromosomes and lined them up at the middle of the cell, ready to divide. All the chromosomes then align at the metaphase plate. Don't worry guys, it's not actually a plate. Yeah, it's not like a dinner plate, that's just what it's called. At this stage though, two kinetochores of each chromosome should be attached to the microtubules from the opposite spindle poles. Before proceeding to anaphase, the cell has to check to make sure that all the chromosomes are at the metaphase plate. This is called the spindle checkpoint and helps to ensure that the sister chromatids will split evenly between the two daughter cells when they separate in the next step. If a chromosome is not properly aligned or attached, the cell will stop splitting until the problem can be fixed. Next is the anaphase. In anaphase, proteins known as cohesion proteins that are binding the sister chromatids together are broken down. The sister chromatids are now known as chromosomes and are pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. The cell is elongated as a result because of the non kinetic or spindle fibers lengthening in this step. It reminds me of an eclair! Sweet! Telophase is considered to be the final part of mitosis. During this is considered to be the final part of mitosis. During this step, nuclear vesicles reassemble around each of the chromosomes and new nuclear envelopes are formed. Two new nuclei are then created in the one cell. The chromosomes now decondense and uncoil, turning back into chromatin. As the chromosomes diffuse, nucleoli forms again and appears inside of the nuclei. As telophase concludes, the cytoplasm begins to divide in half, creating a cleavage furrow. In plant cells, instead of a cleavage furrow, a cell plate forms between the separated pieces of chromosome, then dividing the cell into two daughter cells. Boring! Who let this guy speak? Okay, thanks a lot, Mushu. How about you teach the last step? Fine, I will. The last step is cytokinesis. During cytokinesis, the cytoplasm divides into two, forming two daughter cells. The cell begins to divide as the furrow deepens and eventually leads to two cell membranes being cleaved into two. Yes, now my two babies can go destroy things! Okay, sure, Mushu, I guess.
The cell cycle might not always be a good thing. When cells in the body divide and grow at an excessive rate, tumors are formed. Usually the body can regulate cell growth and division, and cells that are damaged or no longer needed die to make room for healthy cells. If the balance of cell growth and death is disturbed, a tumor, usually cancerous, can potentially form. Anyway, that was mitosis. To recap, the first step is interphase, which essentially prepares the cell for mitosis. The second step is prophase, where the chromosomes become visible while the chromatids are pulled together. The nuclear envelope disappears in this step. In the third step, metaphase, the chromosomes are attached to the spindle fibers. Next, in anaphase, the chromosomes move away from each other towards opposite poles of the spindles. Following this is telophase, where the chromosomes have moved towards the opposite poles and two nuclei are formed. Finally, cytokinesis occurs and the two cells are separated, creating two identical daughter cells. To remember this better, think of the phrase, I propose Mushu as a total controller. That was this week's episode on science with Disney side characters. We hope you learned something and we will see you next week.